Well, Mitch, a one-all draw today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Uh, I thought we were better second half than we were first half. Um, I didn't really think we looked ourselves first half, um, although it was good character from the boys to come out um, and yeah, put a good battling performance on second half. Um, draw may be fair. Um, maybe with the chances that we had second half, we maybe deserve to win, but it's another game unbeaten. Um, and we, we turn our attention over to Bromley next weekend. Exactly, that. it's one defeat in nine now. It's a good run to be on, you know, a number of changes made, you know, maybe a few unexpected ones with the likes of Harrison not playing today. But also yourself back in the starting lineup today with Dory's departure. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, very good. Um, I, I'm sure it's been well publicised, but I've, I've been sort of uh, the last two and a half years, I've been taking all the sessions and uh, taking the goalkeepers myself for the vast majority of the time, which I think in hindsight probably hasn't been the most beneficial for me on a personal note. Although I thoroughly enjoyed it working with the goalies, I think at this level, at this standard, um, over the years it's got better and better. Uh, you need to be selfish and you need to focus on yourself. So. I've thoroughly enjoyed working with Robbie, um, he's, he's been fantastic, um, I feel the sharpest I've been in a long, long time to be perfectly honest with you, um, and yeah, I've, I've just been waiting for my chance and feel ready to go. So on a personal note as well, you'll be the first to admit it, you know, it's been a difficult maybe a few months for you, but you've come back in the side today and you've earned your chance and you've pulled off a few good saves, I've earned us a point. Yeah, of course, um, as I said, I'm, I'm, I've mentioned before, but I'm, I'm a harshest critic, so no one needs to tell me when um, things haven't gone quite well um, or quite right. Uh, but as I said, yeah, I, th I think sort of stripping it all back, um, the gaffer sort of said to me that when he came in, he one of his main targets from the coaching staff was to bring a goalkeeper coach in to help me out, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, sometimes they're a little bit like a needle in the haystack to find, but he found he'd worked with Robbie uh, previously down at Weymouth, and he said he, he thought I'd thoroughly enjoy working with him, and gaffer was 100% right. I thoroughly enjoyed my probably, I don't know how long he's been in now, probably about six or seven weeks. And uh, as I said, it's, it's been nice just to focus on myself fully. Um, and I feel as though that I'm, I feel sharper, I feel fitter, I feel, I feel better than I have done since, to be perfectly honest, since I've been down at Aldershot. Obviously reflecting back on the game now, you get the best view better than anyone else. First half, took us a while to get going. Bit of a sucker punch really to concede so late on, but you know, there's not much you can do about that sort of goal. Yeah, I thought we were a little bit unlucky with the goal. Um, from sort of the, my, my point of view and Corey's point of view, I feel as though we've done everything right. He it, it just took a little deflection of Corey's shin pad, which was the couple of inches that took it away from me, unfortunately. Um, if it doesn't take the deflection, I'm saving it. Uh, but as I said, Corey's done everything right. He stood, he got low. It was just one of those unfortunate things. Um, but yeah, and as I said, I, I was really pleased with our reaction. Second half, um, we controlled the game a lot more. Um, so yeah, as I said, overall, a good point. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's another game unbeaten, and as I said, we're looking forward to Bromley next weekend. You touched on the second half there, obviously a much better performance from us. What was the message going into the second half? Uh, just liven up a little bit, really, just sharpen everything up. I think the uh, foundation was there. Um, it was just a case of a little bit more communication uh, from us, from the boys, um, and just yeah, stick to the plan. And, and, and we know how dangerous we can be. We've shown that over the last couple of months um, since we've sort of had a bit of a change in the regime. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, as I said, it's, it's one of those where yeah, the boys were happy uh, with their second half performance. Obviously disappointed not to get the three points, but it's the National League. It's, it's a tough league and, uh, as I said, it's another game unbeaten. Great few moments in the, in the second half. Obviously, Toby's come on, scored the equaliser, got a man of the match, and also Josh Rowley's come on and made his debut for the National League. It's a great moment for him as well. Yeah, it is indeed. Um, as I'm sure people are aware, we've, there's been a lot of changes this year. Um, I think boys have played maybe when they didn't expect to play due to injuries, due, due to um, a few other circumstances. But everyone works their socks off. Um, and the, the great thing the gaffer sort of brought in is that training sort of, there's an expectation at training. So we know that, I know it sounds weird, but the, the game's the easy bit. Um, we, we all know what we're doing. Um, so all the boys that haven't really been involved too much, um, they know that there's an opportunity there, so they'd be silly not to make sure that they're ready if the opportunity comes along. And over the course of the season, all the boys that have come in, um, from Alfie Saunders, some of the young boys, um, and Josh today, um, and all the boys in between, I, I think have been absolutely fantastic. Also, like the manager spoke about before, they're not substitutes, they're finishers as well. So everyone's got a role to play in the game. Of course, of course. As I said, we, we, I feel as though our team spirit um, all this year has been good, regardless of, of results and things like that. We're, we're a nice, tight-knit bunch. Uh, we all get along well, we all push one another. There's a, there's a level of expectation which we push each other to um, reach now, which is great because um, we, we, we know the standard, we, we know what the gaffer expects from us all. So it's, it's, it's great that they're a great bunch of lads. Um, and yeah, as I said, the, 
boys are absolutely good as gold. No change of competition next week. Bromley at home in the FA Trophy, a chance to try and progress in the next round. Yeah, cup games, obviously, you never know what can happen in them, but we'll approach it like any other game. Um, we go out there to win um, and, and oppose ourselves on the game. Uh, so I think all of us as a club will have tomorrow off and then, uh, yeah, Monday morning we'll be straight at looking at Bromley and ways we can uh, be most effective on the day. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.